eyeballs. A very fundamental lifting attachment point. There's a lot of them out there. Many of them fit for purpose. Many more not fit for purpose. They fall underneath a couple of basic designs. We have our non-shouldered eye bolt and our machine eye bolt with a shoulder. Our initial look on any one of these is for markings. We have to make sure we have the proper markings on there. Who made them? And either a size or capacity on our eye bolts. Now, one of the biggest flaws, especially for things like our machine eye bolts, are found eye bolts. Many manufacturers of equipment, pumps, motors, will ship that pump or motor with an eye bolt in it. That eye bolt is rated for that pump or motor, motor for picking it up. However, it might not have any markings or design for any other application other than picking up that pump or motor. So we don't want to be taking them out and putting them into our tool crib to use them for other purposes because they may not have the markings for any other purpose. Other things that we want to pay attention to besides our markings is design. Is it straight? Is it properly made? Is it homemade? Did somebody make their own lifters? Then we're also looking for things like deformation, any type of bending, corrosion, twist, wear, 10% wear. We're also looking at proper installation. For proper installation, we are permitted to put a washer or spacer underneath an eye bolt to adjust the plane of the eye bolt. When installed, the line or plane of that eye bolt has to face the center of gravity of the load. If I'm pulling it against the plane of the eye bolt, then I have no known capacities. So a washer or space will allow us to adjust the installation of the eye bolt so we're facing the pull. Now, when installed, it has to be tight. Hand tight, not torque tight. Now, on the installation in a tapped hole, one and a half times the bolt diameter of thread engagement. If I'm on a pass-through situation, a nut and a washer on the back side, then, if I'm using it any angle other than vertical, there will always be a loss of capacity. Now, the loss of capacity is going to be fully dependent on what the manufacturer of that eye bolt states. If we do not have the manufacturer's guidance, if you get past 15 degrees from the vertical, then you only have 25% of its vertical capacity. A significant loss of capacity, even when properly installed, facing the center of gravity of the load, simply from angles of loading.